Hello children, welcome in my science class. Today we are going to learn about different parts of the plant. In previous class we learned about different types of plant. Do you remember what are they? Yes, they are herbs, serves, trees, climbers, creepers, flooring and non-flooring. Right? In today's class, we are going to discuss about different parts of a plant and their functions too. Children, as we know, we have also different parts of our body. Similarly, plant has also its different parts and each part has its different functions. So here is, you can see on the pictures, two main important parts of the plants are root and shoot. Root. Root originate from the lower portion of a plant inside the ground, which fix the plant in the soil. Roots absorbs water and minerals from the soil. Roots are of two major types. Do you know what are they? Yes, here is. They are fibrous root and tap root. What are the difference between fibrous root and tap root? Fibrous root has no main root and its branches. But tap root has a main root and it has many branches. These are the difference between fibrous root and tap root. Now we are moving on soot. What is soot? Do you know children? Okay, here is the part we see above the ground is called soot. It has different parts. You can see on the screen, steam, leaves, flowers, and fruits are its main parts. Now, we are going to discuss about steam. Children, do you know what is steam? Yes, I'm going to tell you steam. It is the stalk of the plant. It helps the plant to stand upright. Some of the stems are soft and some are hard as well. Some stems store food like sugarcane, potato, ginger, onion. They store food in their stem. Stem generally green when it young and later often become dark brown. It carries water and minerals from the root to leaves, which helps to make food to the leaf. Next part of the plant is leaf. The leaf is a flat and green part of a plant. It is developed from the stem and branches. They are usually green due to the presence of chlorophyll, which helps them to prepare their own food. So that leaves are also called the food factory of a plant. And leaves also help the plant to breathe. And Children, next part of a plant is the flower. See, so attractive, so beautiful as well, yes? Yes. Flowers have different shapes, sizes and colors also. Some of the flowers have a good smell too. Have you ever been smelled the flower? Mm, yes. Yes, it has different smell also. Flowers grow from birds. We all know. Do you know birds? 
bud, B-U-D-S, bud. Okay, children, next. Next one is the fruits. Many flowers grows different yummy fruit which we eat. Fruits have also different shape and sizes. They are found in different colors too. Yes, and do you like fruits? Yes, we all like to eat fruit. Now, fruit has seeds inside it. The seed is another part of the plant. Fruit contains seeds inside it, we all know, yes? Some fruits have one seed. What are they? Yes, mango, plum, peach. They have one seed only. Some of them, fruit has many seeds like watermelon, papaya. These are the examples of many seeds which we can see the picture also. Children, here is the diagram for you to review. You can see on the screen. And it has different parts. See, root, stem, leaf, flower, fruit. They have also different functions too, just we discussed before, yes? Now, I hope you all know about the parts of a plant and its different function. In next class, we will discuss about some major parts of a flower and leaf. Okay, children? Till then, bye-bye and stay safe at home. Thank you.